Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love, uh, love readings. I want to apologize, we are a bit behind. For those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out as we're quickly booking for the month of June and July. Just putting it out there. Okay, let's get into your reading cancer. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Let's get into your reading cancer. You have flexibility getaway and potential partners cards thriving going forward and embracing okay beautiful cards all right let's see what spirit has for you guys for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship i see you guys very synchronized right now uh, maybe even feeling like you guys are connecting or bonding um perhaps more so than you've ever done flexibility does speak about being very open um cancer i see you guys very open very even vulnerable to a point uh really showing your partner perhaps even talking openly about insecurities from your past or uh situations where at some point you felt insecure either about yourself or your partner and with the getaway card, this could indicate taking small trips, not necessarily going on vacation, but uh, going a different route than you would usually do. Uh, and this could represent like having short conversations, like when even it could be as simplistic as when you go to the grocery store, having really open conversations with your partner, I think that is definitely what they're showing me here, what they're speaking about is really connecting on an emotional level. And I think that you may be experiencing your partner as well, being very supportive, being very encouraging. Um, and if you haven't been feeling that type of connection, you will start to experience it in the beginning of June, as I'm seeing, uh, like I said, very synchronized connection, um, uh, you know, coming together really even pursuing a career or some type of business or partnership with your partner. Uh, it could be as, like I said, as simplistic as going to the grocery store and while the drive there, really having conversations about life, about what you want to happen, what, what your dreams and aspirations are, and your partner being reciprocating on that aspect, on that level. So you definitely feel like that, def that, that strong emotional support that you have with your partner. Uh, like I said, I feel that this is renewed energy. Um, even finishing each other's conversations or sentences, I should say. And with the potential card here, what they're saying is that there is definitely a burst of energy that's coming towards you, uh, towards this connection or this relationship. Like I said, feeling, being okay with feeling vulnerable or like I said, speaking about like, you know, we all have insecurities. We all have, you know, our dark, deepest fears. And I think that sometimes when you have a connection that is so organic and so, you know, strong in a, on a soul level, there is a feeling of, of, yes, vulnerability, but at the same time, strength that comes from that because you're opening up, you're becoming one basically with that energy of your partner. And this is definitely a good thing as it is uh, strengthening your relationship. Now, the cards that represent your partner or the person that you're dealing with is thriving and going forward. So I do see them taking on a more action approach in regards to pursuing whether it be in finances, whether it be, uh, like I said, having goals that both of you guys want to accomplish together. Really, the thriving card signifies having a burst of energy as well as no blockages currently being experienced. So it could potentially happen or manifest in the sense of having opportunities come your way, whether it's to make more money, whether it's into going into partnership with your partner as well uh, on a business level for finances um, and the going forward is strengthening of the relationship and being able to move forward, coming out of it much more stronger, much more uh, concrete in regards to where you both stand in regards to the relationship and embracing. This is exactly the energy that I was sensing, like your partner really feeling you really understanding you or even like craving to know what your weaknesses and strengths what 
fears you have that type of energy it's a very very deep type of soul energy and again i definitely see that progressing and making your relationship much more stronger now for those of you guys that are currently single um what they're saying here is basically that there is a need for you to have flexibility in regards to the people that you tend to be most attracted to you have to have an open mind and an open heart. Don't be so quick to judge or very judgmental in the sense of discerning uh, the people that you're interested in or who you let in. Uh, getaway could represent pulling away from past um, behaviors or perhaps, like I said, having a specific personality that you're very attracted to. What Spirit is telling you is, that hasn't worked in the past so it's time for you to keep an open mind and an open heart cancer so that you can pull away from perhaps running after people that are emotionally unavailable to you and the moment you're able to really give people the opportunity of getting to know them without necessarily like i said perhaps they're not your regular type or usually the type that you're attracted to. But if you give them the opportunity, there is potential there. Potential to create a long-term monogamy, monogamous relationship that could be very soul-connected. Um, the person that's coming towards you has the thriving and the going forward card. So I see them definitely trying to achieve goals and aspirations that they're currently putting all their focus and energy towards which is ideally the type of person you want to come into your life we don't really want to deal with people that are coming out of relationships because you know when you end a relationship or when there's been a breakup or anything like that there's healing that needs to happen that's why people tend to uh, have a rebound right because you're not ready you're testing the waters when a person is focused solely on them and working on themselves they're, sho they're showing love for themselves and when you have a person that comes in that has goals and aspirations that is determined that is pursuing actively pursuing their goals and aspirations this is a person that already has self-love for themselves this is a person that is not in, in doesn't feel the need to be in a relationship in order to thrive and that's exactly a healthy relationship and embracing this is a person that could be very understanding very compassionate that's the type of energy you need cancer so i definitely see major potential here for a connection to happen and what they're saying here is that for the second to third week of june this person may present themselves to you so definitely definitely good things to come for you cancer in the love department i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon bye